Hey, hey, Steve Veronica Kibble here today, and today it's Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo! And we're going to Azul for some Mexican food. So join us for lunch today. So this restaurant also um, offers rooftop seating and patio seating. And on Cinco de Mayo, they were pretty busy upstairs and in the patio. But we decided um, we wanted to eat inside because we were wanting to listen to marachis. Yeah. Which we heard they were going to have marachis. Yeah, very good. So what does Cinco de Mayo mean? So Cinco de Mayo recognizes Mexico's victory over the Second French Empire led by Napoleon III at the Battle of Puebla in 1862. Yeah. No, not which to be is, confused with the other Napoleon. Which is different. Yeah. Um, the Independence Day for Mexico is in September. It's September 16th. So it's two different um, events. Events. And today, we are celebrating Cinco de Mayo mm -hmm. at this beautiful Azul Mexican restaurant. And they are ready for the festivities to begin. Mm -hmm. It's a very beautiful restaurant. And they decorated it really nice. Definitely made you feel like you're at a fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> it's fiesta time. Yeah. <laughs> so here we are. Like like I said, upstairs was really full and the patio seating was full, which, you know, they left plenty of tables open for us to get inside. seated right away yeah. inside. Yeah. And as the day went on, it got pretty full. And they did offer a special menu for Cinco de Mayo. Mm -hmm. and I ended up ordering the chicken chilaquiles from the special menu. So feel free to pause the video, take a closer look at these menus. Mm -hmm. And then we also ordered the chicken flautas as an appetizer from the main menu. Yeah, the chicken flautas turned out to be really good. <laughs> I'm glad you picked those. <laughs> and you ended up ordering the pork the, pozole. Pork pozole, which is a, a soup. A Mexican traditional mm -hmm. stew. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now we've have had the uh, ribeye in the past and all that. You had the uh, the, the, the fajitas, fajitas, the yeah. tres, tres carnes fajitas. Yeah. So ch feel that free to check that video out. We have a different vi video yeah. on those um, mm -hmm. meals. Here at Azul. At Azul. Now I'm drinking my regular unsweet iced tea with lemon. And I like that they offer orange juice, so I ordered the orange juice so I could get that vitamin C. Yeah, you need your vitamin C. Looks like salud. Salud. <laughs> in Spanish, salud. In English, cheers. And here are the taquitos, or I'm sorry, the flautas. I flautas. keep calling them taquitos, but they're flautas. They kind of look like taquitos. <laughs> Some people call them taquitos. Some people call them flautas. And they come with chicken tinga fried in crispy corn tortilla with pepper jack and cotija cheese with lime cre cream, which is uh, like a sour cream, but um, with lime in it, guacamole, brown enchilada dipping sauce, red pickle onions, lettuce, pico de gallo, sour cream, and cilantro. And these were delicious. Yeah, they were very good. I could have eaten those. You know, I think it'd probably be a good main dish, you know. Yeah, that shredded chicken is marinated in a, like a chili sauce. And um, it's really juicy. Mm -hmm. So the, the tortilla is super crispy and inside uh, it's super juicy. I mean, I love my soup, but I think this was probably my favorite part of the meal. And those mm -hmm. uh, pickled onions really accent the flavor. Oh, yeah. those, uh, just a hint of, you know, that mm. little vinegar. And of course, the way you prepare yours is so much more graceful than the way I did mine. 
<laughs> I like to spread the different, you know, yeah. ingredients throughout. So I get a, a really good mix of all the flavors. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. That was delicious. Yeah. They're very, very good. It's just, uh, uh, you know, layers and layers of delicious flavors all combined together. I couldn't decide whether to keep the whole plate to myself or share it with you. <laughs> well, I'm glad you share it because it was good. It's like I could just make make this my main meal. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I, I think it could have been a, a, a main meal. I mean, it was definitely delicious. And the chilaquiles um, basically are uh, fry, fried corn tortillas, salsa verde, shredded chicken, queso fresco, which is like a farmer's cheese, lime uh, cream, uh, which is a Mexican sour cream, and uh, fried, uh, over, over, fried over easy egg. But they gave me two eggs, so that was nice. Mm -hmm. And they're not as easy as I'd like to have. That's okay, because I, I like my eggs cooked you like well. You like cooked better egg, than egg. I like mine runny. Yes, yeah. yes. But that's okay. Yeah. I still enjoyed it very mm -hmm. much. Yeah. But I am used to having a little bit more green salsa on my chilaquiles, yeah. just because I absolutely love that green salsa that's mm -hmm. made with the tomatillos um, that are kind of like a little bit citrusy flavor. Mm -hmm. um, but that's okay. I mean, these were still oh, really they were delicious. Good. They are very good. I just... Again, you know, you wish you had a little more of something that's really good. <laughs> you know. And I did share some of those with oh, you also. I appreciate that too. Was, yeah, like I said, they were yummy. Mm -hmm. And it's not normally on the menu, like it, we said. It was a special for this day. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the Marachis arrived. Yeah, that was... You know, why we went out on this day to celebrate. So the Marachis were taking requests, and it looks like this family requested Lo Cielito Lindo. And the name of this band is Los Mariachis. Mm -hmm. We will add their information in our description. They're a very good band as far as I was concerned. Played the violin in elementary school. She likes playing the violin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If she can find some uh, time to practice some more, she can uh, play mm -hmm. just as good as these, this band here. Yeah. I like that big bass guitar that one. Mm -hmm. It was. <laughs> mm -hmm. And in Mexico, it's a. Uh, it's considered a very romantic gesture to serenade someone with marachis. Mm -hmm. So folks will hire marachis to come play at a wedding or at a birthday party or mm -hmm. maybe somebody that likes a person will have marachis show up at their house and you know, play outside uh, their house mm -hmm. to see if the person will come out and yeah. you know, enjoy it. It's definitely considered a very romantic gesture or, you know, a gesture of love. Mm -hmm. Love and appreciation for someone. Mm -hmm. And my pasoli shows up. And I was expecting a, I mean, it's very, very good pasoli. I was just expecting a bigger bowl because when you go to a lot of other Mexican restaurants, they serve you a really big bowl of Yes. Soup, yes, you know, but the the pasoli was excellent. It, 
you know, look at that. Yeah, I <laughs> tasted the pozole and it tasted really delicious. Yeah. They had the pork meat and the omni corn mm. and they served it with a side of the uh, red onions and... Uh, Oregano, I think. Oregano, you yeah. but they forgot to bring the you radishes out the radishes and radishes cabbage. and the cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> and we were just so um, happy enjoying the music that we completely we forgot, forgot to ask for it. it. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that's what we were there for is to celebrate, you know, and have fun. And the violin player's name is uh, Ruben Velasquez. Mm. So I believe he uh, manages the band. And I love their, their outfits. The beautiful mariachi outfits. And then there was a birthday celebration going on there. So they sang the happy birthday song to her and then on to Margaritaville. They must have requested Margaritaville. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So the birthday lady got serenaded with the birthday song and then I believe they, yeah, they requested Margaritaville. They did play a lot of other songs. I mean I heard them play Ring of Fire and you know, I think uh, Orange Blossom Special. I mean they were very talented musicians. And as you can see, the restaurant is getting very busy. The wait staff is all over the place. Very festive. It made me want to get up and start dancing. I know. I should take the camera from you. <laughs> but, I, but I would have been the only one dancing. <laughs> 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 and then I believe you requested La Bamba. Yeah. Looks like they're having a good time. <laughs> yes. That's where we. Yes. That was so much fun. Yes, it was. And this time we ordered churros for dessert. And they come with caramel sauce, chocolate sauce, and strawberry sauce on the side. And these were made fresh, so they were really good. They're sprinkled mm -hmm. with sugar and cinnamon. And then um, you can add those sauces. They were light and crispy and hot. Oh my goodness, these churros were very, very delicious. So it's kind of like a, a churro is like a deep fried donut, like yeah. a sugar deep fried donut mm -hmm. um, with, yeah, sugar and cinnamon sprinkled on there. Yeah, they're very good. I mean, if you never had them, they're, it's definitely worth getting. And then all the, you know, the, the syrups and stuff that you can dip them in were very good as well. I like the strawberry and the caramel. Yeah, and, yeah. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, yeah, a churro again is made with with uh, sprinkle with sugar and cinnamon. But nowadays, we find them in different you know areas that make them. That some of them even will fill them inside, kind of yeah. like a filled the donut. Filling, yeah, and mm -hmm. they'll they'll fill them with the like the caramel inside or some other type of fruit filling on the mm -hmm. inside and so you when you bite into it you know you get that delicious filling mm -hmm. um, with it yeah as much as i uh liked these i think that the dessert you had there before the 
with the three sliches. The tres leches is really good. Yeah. I definitely recommend the tres leches yeah. cake. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. And then um, here is a look at our server. Good folks at the uh, Azul on Cinco de Mayo. We're celebrating. Yes. Yeah, we love their channel, so check them out. Smoking up, Thanksgiving fun. There you go. Yes. Thank you. All right. So we got to meet. Christy and Brooks from Smoky Mountain Faith and Food and Fun. Uh, they are another um, YouTube, YouTuber. YouTubers out YouTubers here in the Smoky here. Mountain area. And they're very nice people. Very we, nice. we ran into them and got the opportunity to meet them and mm -hmm. say hi. Mm -hmm. That was really nice. So check them out if check, you haven't already. Yes, check out their channel. We, we enjoy watching their, their YouTube videos. and. We had a wonderful time at Azul Mexican Restaurant listening to the Marachis on Cinco de Mayo. We do recommend this restaurant. We always mm -hmm. have really good food when we go there. And mm -hmm. we uh, encourage you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. Click that like button and click the bell. That will alert you when we upload new videos. And we thank you for watching our videos. We had a really, really good time today at Azul on Cinco de Mayo. Until next time, bye-bye. Thanks for watching, everyone.